Alibaba WAN has introduced WAN 2.1 VACE which is an all-in-one video creation and editing model. The model size is 14 billion parameters. There is also a smaller 1.3 billion parameters. It has an Apache 2.0 license. So this model provides solutions for various tasks including reference to video generation, video to video editing and masked video to video editing. So you can combine these capabilities to achieve complex tasks. So you can have multi-model inputs enhancing the controllability of video generation, unified single model for consistent solution across tasks, free combination of capabilities unlocking deeper creative potential. So this model has been released on Hugging Face. They have a video which shows the capabilities of this model. Let's look into the video. So this is image reference video creation. This is post transfer video repainting. This is motion control video repainting. This is structure control video repainting. Recolorization video repainting. So this is subject recreation video painting, subject removal video re editing, then you have this video editing, temporal extension, this is image reference plus subject recreation. So this is multitask combination. Okay. This is image reference plus outpainting plus temporal extension. So again, a multitask combination. So if you look at this particular demo video, the set of videos are really amazing and you have a lot of tasks which can be done. Now let's look into the paper to understand a little bit more about this particular model. So this is their technical report. Okay, so they are saying that these are some four basic tasks for, you know, multimodal input and video tasks. So one is text to video generation, which is a basic video creation task and text is the only input. Okay, then you have reference to video generation, which requires additional images as reference inputs, making sure that specified content such as objects, subjects of faces, animals and other objects or video frames appear in the generated video. Then you have video to video ed editing, which is like making an entire change to provided video colorization, stylization, controllable generation, right? So they use video control types whose control signals can be represented and stored as RGP videos, including depth, grayscale, post, scribble, optical flow and layout. Okay. So this is video to video editing. Then you have masked video to video editing, which makes changes to an input video only within the provided 3D regions of interest. Okay. Then you can combine these four basic tasks to create a lot of other tasks, which could be like reference anything, move anything, which could be composition of these four tasks, right? Animate anything, swap anything, expand anything. It could be repaint, in paint, out paint. It could be extension, first class script. It could be control of depth, uh, you know, um, uh, what do you call grayscale, scribble, post, flow, layout, right? Uh, it could be subject, face, object. This is reference to video frame. So with these four basic tasks, you can combine and you can create a lot of additional tasks, which are like reference anything, move anything, animate anything, swap anything, expand anything. Okay. So this is like one model which can do a variety of tasks. Let's look at the architecture or overview of waste framework. So if you look at over here, there is a video condition unit. Then there are tokenizers for video text and context, which is fed to transformer blocks. The transformer is a diffusion image transformer. Uh, then you get the output from the diffusion image transformer, which is given to a VAE decoder to get frames of your video, right? Now, what is this video control unit? So the video control unit is an input paradigm where they want to unify diverse input conditions into textual input frame sequence and mask sequence. Now, if you have just text to video, then you don't have context frame or mass sequence. But for other tasks, you would require 
uh, your frame sequence and mass sequence okay so then uh, the next thing what is they say in the architecture is that they already have a text tokenization right uh, they also already have video tokenization but for context uh, they created for context tokenization they have this blocks of concept decouple context latent encode and context embedder now what are that in concept decouple what they do is that they separate the frames okay of the uh, uh, video so basically you have this input video if you have input video what is the inactive part of that input video okay in the video control unit what is the inactive part of the video which doesn't change what are the parts which change which could be reactive part which is nothing but you are uh, you know pixels which can change you are it could be control things like depth pose okay so that is the reactive part and then you have the mask like which part of the video needs to be changed okay so that is the concept decouple which kind of decouples from your reference video these things and then this is given to a context latent encoder because your transformer blocks uh, diffusion image transformer they operate in the latent space so each of this is converted to your latent space over here which is context latent encoding okay and then you have this context embedder which converts this particular you know uh, latent representations into tokens so that is what happens over here at a very high level for details you can uh, read these sections over here right so in this way you are giving input to your diffusion image transformer now they have two ways of training this particular model one is fully fine tuning where they train you know uh, they train this whole context embedder part along with all the blocks in the diffusion image transformer okay so that is your fully uh, uh, fine tuning they also have another uh, architecture where what they do is that they duplicate some of the dit blocks over here and to the original diffusion image transformer they give video tokens plus text tokens the context tokens are given to separate blocks called as context blocks okay in the first case of fully fine tuning context tokens plus video tokens are combined along with noise tokens and given to the diffusion image transformer text tokens are also given as input but here you have the context block separated so that is called as context adapter tuning so they have these two ways of fully uh, what you call training the models here they have comparisons with other models and they say that this model performs better than other models across various tasks over here which could be image to video which could be in paint out paint depth and those kind of tasks i'll not go into these scores okay uh, so they have also created a base benchmark and these are the results based on this particular benchmark these models have been released on hugging face there are two uh, models over here 1.3 billion is a smaller model it supports up to 480p resolution of 5 seconds video you have 14 billion uh, model which supports up to both 480p and 720p models up to 5 seconds right so if you have to run this 14 billion parameter model my experience has been that with the previous at least the image to be 14 billion or text to be 14 billion is that you would require at least 60 gb or more of gpu ram to run this particular 14 billion parameter models because it is not just this particular 14 billion parameter models there are also other encoders and other models which come in and you know it consumes a lot of memory uh, so they have given instructions over here they have a gitlab page also where they have given instructions on how to run this particular model um, so you can check it out the demo videos over here seem to be impressive for an open source model so you can check out this particular project page of theirs where they have some examples right i think these are the same examples which was present in the demo video for various tasks you have the text prompts along with you know this you have this reference image over here you have a control uh, another reference image over here and it's kind of combined in this particular video so this is like character plus post control plus you know text prompt generating a video right so this is also you have a masked region you are doing a subject replacement over here and plus text prompt you are generating a video so this is temporal this is also a temporal extension this is also a temporal extension over here where you have this you know masked region you have this subject you have this uh, what do you call spectacles and then you have this text prompt and it creates this video these videos are impressive but unless you really try out this particular model yourself for your use cases you can't say whether they perform very well that has been my past experience with these video generation models but good to see another video generation model which can do a lot of tasks so this was a short video on van 2.1 ways hope this video is useful see you in another